Alrighty guys, good morning. Well, we're back. It's a Sunday morning. I really kind of hate working, you know, on the weekends, especially Sunday, but these pond cleanouts and stuff we got going, it's just, I gotta, I gotta do what I gotta do. So, anyway, uh, yeah, we're back at another pond. So, I don't know how deep this one's gonna be, but you can see I've got a, quite a bit of water in here, which is gonna make for a uh, obstacle that I've gotta deal with. So, anyway, we'll have to cross that bridge when we get there. Um, okay, it'll be interesting to see how deep it is. Uh, some of these head trees that are around the perimeter here, I've got to take out. You know, I'll leave the bigger trees, but these here, I've got to take out so I can have room to throw the mud over. There's a, uh, you can see it right there by that hedge tree right there. Section of the dam I have to repair. So, anyway. My goal is to get these uh, handful of trees, probably half a dozen or so trees pulled off and uh, get them off. And then what I'm gonna do is, is, is uh, hop down here on the inside, right down in here. And I'm just gonna start reaching out and throwing. Probably gonna grab, probably grab the track loader because the track loader's closer. I'll probably grab it and then I'm gonna have to, I'm sure I'm gonna have to push down to me because I'm not gonna be able to get all of that out of there. So I'll have to take track loader and start running, you know, running down and looks like I got another section of the dam right there to replace too. Hoping there'll be enough dry dirt here to allow me to go through here and I may even bring the 850. So we'll see how things go. Um, but again, that's the plan. So uh, let's get in here and start throwing, pulling some trees and throwing some mud. All righty, guys. Well, let's go get some of these hedge trees pulled off here.
picked. Keep doing our thing. Alrighty guys, well, I'm in the 953 right now. get some of this pushed up.
pretty dirty windshield, but uh, this mud's real super sloppy. And right there, it touches an air pocket, and it blows mud right at me. So I'm quite sure that the, I'm quite sure that the uh, windshield is going to get even nastier. So.
inside an air-conditioned cab, the GoPro shut off again because it got too hot. So I'm about to turn the damn thing out of the mud where I'm about to do. So anyway, we're uh, making fairly good progress. I've been rained on already quite a little bit. And you can see the clouds are not looking the greatest. But as you can see, I mean, Cut that and let the water run over there, and then I'm just in the process of you know, getting it shoved over here, and so I can get it scooped out. So right in between two trees, so I've got to suck the boom all the way in.
right guys well i'm done with this one it didn't turn out too bad like i said went in and sweeped it up and right in through here i cut that erosion out and kind of smoothed it out it's going to come back uh those cows walking down in there because that's where the water line is when it's full and uh cows walking down in there they're going to slough it off and everything but yeah whoever built this man they just i don't know it just wasn't I mean, there's big dips there and over there right in the middle so i don't know what the heck of course i mean this may have been built a long time ago and may have been built with a cable rig i don't know but uh you know and i'm guessing like right over here where this is uh like right over here where this is low i'm guessing they probably way it looks like they probably needed some more dirt for the dam so they went in and just gouged that out and pushed that up because it's pretty consistent all the way across there so if i was guessing i'd say that's what that's all about but anyway well like i said i'm waiting uh i'm gonna go ahead and grease the excavator up while i'm waiting then i'm gonna go over and to the neighbors over here and he's supposed to show me what he wants done and we'll try to get that knocked out while we're this close again i fuel costs like they are i hate to do a bunch of moving around that's why i didn't bring the d6 over here to uh to do this one with so it's needed over in the area where it's at so i didn't want to bring it all the way here and then take it all the way back and i'm gonna to have to take the excavator back over that way and that's bad enough but Anyway, try to be smart about things and just and just watch fuel. You know, fuel costs are just outrageous right now. They are coming down, but they're still just crazy outrageous. So, uh, you know, and again, I think I've mentioned it. I went up a little bit on my prices, but not enough to cover, you know, the added fuel costs. So, you know, what do you do? price yourself up too high nobody can afford you and then you're setting so i'd rather make a little bit of money and you know so uh poor excavator is seriously got to take a get a bath and when i get an opportunity to that mud in this pond because it had so much water in it was just beyond nasty and i mean just got all over and I kept sliding down into the pond and so ugh, probably the dirtiest it's ever been since I've had it so it'll be a bath time when we get an opportunity but uh, anyway guys I'm gonna get out of here uh, and we'll probably see you tomorrow uh, hopefully in those ponds over there so uh, I'm gonna probably bring Lee back to help me if he decides he wants to do all of them so that'll help speed things up so anyway guys again i'm gonna go ahead and get on out of here don't forget to like and subscribe leave comments ring that notification bell and that way you know when i post a new video also again don't forget to follow me on instagram and that's at dirt daddy 953 so anyway guys i appreciate you uh really really truly appreciate you hanging in there with me video has been really sparse you know the last couple months but i'm trying to do a little bit better job on it but uh i just had to get my have my head down and and uh you know concentrate on getting some money put in the bank uh who knows what this economy is going to do so anyway guys again i'm out of here and we'll probably see you tomorrow